Hello and welcome to the first annual Aaron Talks Films Movies of the Year! And then the doctor says, oh, there's my thermometer. Now where did my pen go? <laughs> uh, sorry, what? We're live? Oh. Hi guys and welcome to the first annual Aaron Talks Films Awards for the best movies of the year. Now 2018 is very much nearly over, it is New Year's Eve as we speak. I've decided to go through some of my best films of the year that I've enjoyed and maybe I'm going to do some runners up as well just because there's so many films that I had to choose from. I was going to do a top five but that was an almost impossible task, so I'm going to give it to certain categories, and I'm going to give you a runners-up and my actual favourite. So, without further ado, here we go. Okay, so first up we have Best Action. That's right, I'm using envelopes because I thought that this would be funny. Now, my runner-up for Best Action is Tomb Raider. Now, this was actually a really good film. I really enjoyed this. To me, it broke the curse of video game to movie adaptations. They've not been best in the recent years, but this one by far is my favourite, and I actually really enjoyed it. It's it's probably one of the best action movies of the year, hence why it's the runner-up here. Um, it's a very good video game movie, and it is by far so much better than those Angelina Jolie ones. It didn't do as good as what it could have done. I thought it deserved to do a lot better, but... If there is ever to be a sequel, I look forward to seeing it because it was a great movie. Now, my winner for Best Action is... Upgrade. Now, I've only just recently seen this movie, but it was amazing. I am really upset that I waited so long to see it. I'd heard so many good things about it, but I finally got around to watching it, and it is just intense. Um... I can't remember the actor's name, but let's call him Tom Hardy too, because he looks and acts exactly like Tom Hardy. That's not a detriment to this this actor. He's really good. He is so amazing in this movie. I really wanted to do a review of it, but I thought it's far too late to actually get around to doing that at this time of year. But I loved it. It is a great concept, and the action scenes, and just the whole cinematography all around is just so intense. It is almost a perfect action movie i loved it okay up next is best animated movie now there's quite a few that came out this year that i didn't actually see incredibles 2 surprisingly i haven't seen it yet i really want to i wanted to try and squeeze it in before i made this video i've watched so many movies this weekend just trying to catch up from all that i've missed throughout the year that is one that I've sadly missed. And Wreck-It Ralph 2, another one I really wanted to see. Again, I've heard so much good things about those movies. But I'm sure that if I had seen them, they would have been here somewhere. But I haven't seen them, so I can't comment and I can't judge. But my runner-up for Best Animated Movie is... Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Now, I really enjoy Teen Titans Go. I think it's a great cartoon. The reason I love it as much as I do is because my three-year-old son, he adores that program and it makes it so much more special for me because he likes it so much because I don't like to force all of my nerd culture onto him, but he does slowly pick it all up and it is the one program that he is obsessed with and I'm glad because it's DC related, you know, I'm a massive fan of DC, so to see him so into that program it really just it gets me in the feel so i jumped at the chance to take him to the cinema to see this he loved it and i loved it even more so because he loved it so it is a great movie now my winner for best animated movie of 2018 is spider-man into the spider-verse now 
this is a great movie. I reviewed it a few weeks ago. It is a great comic book movie. It is a great Spider-Man movie. It is a great animated movie. It ticks all of the boxes. Go ahead and watch my review. I'm not going to go too much into it, but it is an astounding, astounding movie. Sorry, I've got a cold. It's a great movie. Um, it was really hard because a lot of the animated movies that have come out this year that I have seen are comic book movies. But I am going to get to the comic book character. Uh, I am going to get to the comic book category, but I had to use these for the animated section because there wasn't a lot that I saw. Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, great movie, I highly recommend it. Okay, our next category is Best Horror. I'm not the greatest lover of horror movies, there are so many that came out this year, again, that I did not see, but I'm not really a horror guy. The horror movies that I did see, though, I really enjoyed, as you are going to see in just a second. I'm not the guy that runs out to the cinema to see a horror movie i don't mind watching one indoors with my partner you know turning all the lights off putting a horror movie on and trying to get scared but for me they just don't really do it the way that they used to is more slasher gore horror now which i'm not really a fan of i prefer the paranormal kind of movies and there wasn't many of them out this year but my runner up for best horror movie of 2018 is bird box this was so close to being my number one. I watched this movie two days ago and it is so intense. It is so powerful. I love a horror movie where you can't see or fight the villain. That's what I really enjoy, which is why I love this movie so much. Go and check out my review. It is so intense and powerful. That is why I love this movie so much. But it just lost out to my number one spot, which you'll see why in a minute. But again, I really love this movie. It is no surprise why it's done so well on Netflix, why it's become the most watched movie in the first seven days on Netflix. It deserves all the plaudits that it's getting. It is just a great movie. Now, my winner for best horror movie of 2018 is A Quiet Place. Now, for me, these movies are very much very, very similar. They have a villain that you can't really see and you can't really fight in a quiet place they do figure out a way in the end spoiler alert to fight the monsters but i just really enjoyed this just slightly just a little bit more than bird box i it's the same kind of concept but something about it just really edged it for me and i thought it was a great movie it was it was a great horror movie for me because it was so intense and emotional as opposed to just a killer going around with a knife trying to slash everyone up. I just really loved it. I think it's a great movie. Probably one of my favourite horror movies of all time. And I'm not really a horror guy. So I'm not really sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I loved it. Next category is best comedy. Now again a lot of comedy movies came out this year that I haven't yet seen. There's one that I really want to see. I'm not sure how good it is. I've not heard a lot of things about it. But it's called Blockers. I've been waiting to see it for such a long time, but I haven't had a chance. It's not one of the movies that I put at the top of my list, so I've not gone out of my way to watch it yet. But there are a couple of comedies that I have seen that I really enjoyed, and they are here. My runner-up for best comedy is Game Night. Now, I literally just watched this last night. It was quite late. I think it was about half ten or eleven o'clock. I couldn't settle, so I decided to watch another film, and it was Game Night. And... I hadn't heard a lot about it. I'd, I'd seen snippets about it on online and, and some few clips about it. But I've never really looked into what the story was. Obviously, it's a game night. But the fact that it stars... The fact that it stars Jason Bateman, for me, that just pushed it over the edge. Because I love him. I think it's a really good comedy. It's, it's very dark in places. And it's very action centric as well which you know could have pushed it into my action category but Jason Bateman is just completely funny all across the board and I love him you can see Horrible Bosses is right there he's one of my favourite comedy actors at the moment it's a great movie I do recommend it because it is just funny it's breezy it's not too long and it's not too heavy it's just a good fun ride all the way through 
Now my winner for best comedy is Tag. Now, the reason I've gone for Tag is because it's the movie that came out this year that just made me laugh pretty much non-stop throughout the whole thing. I love the concept. I love the actors that are in it. I'm not going to mention all of them. The real standout for me was Jeremy Renner. I knew he had some comedy chops in him. I knew he had some comedy timing. But this movie really solidifies how good he is, not just as an actor, but as a comedic actor as well. Along with all the others, they all show the great comic timing. They all show how good they are when they work in a group. And I can imagine a lot of it was off the cuff. Not all of it was scripted. It just made me laugh non-stop. And it, again, there's a lot of action in it as well, which sometimes in a comedy you need. You need a good bit of slapstick from time to time. It really just ties everything together. I think it's a great funny movie, which is what you want from a comedy. You just want it to make you laugh non-stop all the way through. And that movie did this for me. Next up is best sci-fi movie. Again, not a lot of sci-fi movies that I've seen this year, but the ones that I have, I've really enjoyed. I'm just going to jump straight into it because we're running out of time. As if this is a real production and it's actually people talking in my ear telling me to hurry up. Uh, my runner-up for best sci-fi movie of 2018 is Solo, A Star Wars Story. Much like horror, I'm not a massive Star Wars guy. I enjoy it, I appreciate it, but I'm not that madly in love with it like most people are so i went into solo with very low expectations i kind of just went on a whim i had some spare time some spare money it was showing so i thought why not i went in and absolutely loved it it was a great sci-fi star wars movie from what i know about star wars it was good i may be wrong again because i'm not a big star wars guy but i loved it i just think it was a great thrill ride all the way through and you had the whole sci-fi star wars element in there which was good enough for me i liked iron Ehrenreich, probably pronouncing his name wrong i thought he did really good as solo a lot of people disagree on the internet if you go and have a look i just thought it was a great movie i thought it was a great action all the way through so for a sci-fi movie that's really what you want and it ticked all the boxes for me now, my winner for Best Sci-Fi of 2018 is Ready Player One. I loved this movie. I'm really upset I didn't get a chance to read the book beforehand. I actually ordered it. Still not read it. I'm told it's not faithful to the book and people that love the book are not happy with the movie and the people that love the movie are not happy with the book. I'm yet to read it, so I can't be a judge of that. I just loved it. I thought it was a great sci-fi movie. It had everything in there that I love. It is nostalgic to its core. Just the whole 80s and 90s references in it. For someone like me, that is just everything. This movie was just probably my mind if it exploded and splattered onto a movie screen. This is what this movie is. And I've actually watched it a few times since, which is... Very rare. When I, when I watch a movie, I normally wait a little while before I watch it again, but... I have watched this movie a couple of times already and it is great. Every time I watch it, I love it more and there's more references in it that I spot and I really enjoy. So it is a great sci-fi movie and a great movie if you're nostalgic like me or if you're a big nerd like me. It is, like I say, it ticks all the boxes. Best comic book movie of 2018. Of course, this has its own category. This is the last... Second to last category, sorry. Yeah, of course a comic book movie will have its own category. In the age that we live in now, there are more comic book movies out every year. And there was just so many to choose from this year. It was very hard to whittle it down and choose just two. Which, again, is why I decided to do it in categories as opposed to just the top five. Because the majority of that top five probably would have been comic book movies. And that would have just been boring. So... My runner-up for best comic book movie of 2018. You'll probably be able to guess these ones. They're, they're very obvious and straightforward. Uh, Black Panther is my runner-up, obviously. It came out very early in the year. But ever since I watched it, I still remember it fondly. I, I loved this movie. There's, there's not really much to say about it. If you've seen Black Panther, you understand. it is. It broke so many records. It did so much for the whole comic book community. 
it is just a powerful, powerful movie with a powerful message, great action scenes, great CGI, great acting, just everything across the board, all boxes ticked, great movie, and I've, again, it's one of the movies that I've actually watched a couple of times since, because it is so good, and I don't get bored of it, so I'm happy to go back and watch it again, but it's just a great movie. My winner for best comic book movie of 2018 is probably going to be very obvious. It is Infinity War. Obviously, it's Avengers Infinity War. It wasn't going to be Aquaman. I enjoyed Aquaman, but not that much. Venom, surprisingly, I actually really enjoyed and was quite tempted to put it in this list. But I felt the urge because it was not quite good enough and it didn't really measure up to Infinity War. What can I say about Infinity War? It is three hours of perfect movie making. It's not quite three hours, but it felt like it, even though this movie is such a breeze and it's so enjoyable from start to finish with all the twists and turns and, you know, surprises that are in this movie. It will be hard to enjoy it from beginning to end, but if you are a true comic book fan, you will enjoy it from beginning to end because it is amazing. I have watched it probably four or five times since it came out. I got it on Blu-ray the other day for Christmas and I've watched it twice since then. It is just almost the perfect movie. I can't really say much else about it because if you are watching this and you are a nerd like me, which I hope you are, you love this movie. I've actually heard people say they don't enjoy it that much and I think they're wrong, but everyone's entitled to an opinion even if it is the wrong opinion. Um, but yeah, Infinity War, what more can you say? And now for the category that was very late going into the game, I decided to just do the six categories, and at the last second I decided, why not do the best movie of 2018? This is basically my favourite movie from the entire year. It may or may not have been mentioned already. It has. It is just... It's the movie that I've enjoyed that much that I'm happy to re-watch it over and over again. You can probably guess already what this movie is. It's the movie that I was so excited to see. And when I saw it, I was not let down. I was not disappointed in any way. Much like when you go into a movie with low expectations, you can be surprised at how good it really is and how much you really enjoy it. Movies when you go in with very high expectations and you really look forward to them. I'm looking at you, Justice League. You can go in and be quite upset about what you're watching on the big screen and the fact that you paid money for it. And it can really damage your viewing of said movie. But this movie is the one that I happily sat through for nearly three hours. It is a movie that I have watched several times since it came out. It is a movie that I have watched several times in the last few days as well as trying to watch it every other movie to catch up with um it is of course avengers infinity war i'm not going to go much on i'm not going to go on much more about it because i've just spoke about it in the last category but it is avengers infinity war that is my best movie of 2018 i'm hoping really really hoping that avengers endgame is my favorite of 2019 as I've just said, when you go into a movie with such high expectations, sometimes you can be let down. But I have enough faith in Marvel and the Avengers franchise that Avengers Endgame will be as good, if not better, than Infinity War. And it is going to wrap up the last 10 years of Marvel nicely. Obviously, there's more going forward. There's more Marvel movies coming out. But I'm hoping that Endgame is... A good end but start to the next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Infinity War is my all-time favourite of this year. There are a lot of good standouts. There was a lot of movies that I've watched over the last few days that have really stood out to me. Um, Honourable mentions, not for best of the year, but just that I would have liked to have put in some of these categories, but they just lost out. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I was actually quite surprised with. I actually really enjoyed it and it almost made it into my best sci-fi, but it just missed out because as good as it was, it wasn't as good as what it could have been. Um, they really need to step up their, their game if there is going to be another sequel to that movie. Um, like I mentioned, Venom, I actually really enjoyed. It was a great comic book movie, but it didn't quite make it into any of my categories. Um for action, I, I almost threw in uh, Peppermint. 
I did a trailer breakdown of Peppermint towards the beginning of the year, and I was actually really excited to see that movie. I've only just got around to seeing it, and it was really good. It was, the whole time I was thinking it was a reverse Punisher, you know, it was, it was very much, um, if Punisher was a woman, you know, she lost her family, and she decided to avenge that, you know, by becoming this gun-toting maniac who kills all the people that wronged her, and... It was really good. I, I must admit, it was a, a good, fun film. Not good enough to make it into any of my categories, but I did really enjoy it. I was pleasantly surprised. But that has been my year in movies. Um, I am going to be back tomorrow with another video from my most anticipated movies of 2019. I bet you can guess which one wins that. Um, but I want to hear about your favourite movies of the year. Am I wrong or do you agree with any of my choices? Obviously, like I said, I wanted to do a top five and I was also thinking about doing a top ten. But it's so hard to put them in there and categorise every single one. It is a tough thing to do. But I want to hear your thoughts. What movies have you enjoyed from this year? What movies are you going to look forward to next year? And we'll discuss that on my video tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a like and maybe subscribe to my channel. I have been Aaron Talks Films. I hope you all have a great new year and I will speak to you soon.